Hi everyone and welcome to today's tutorial video. My name is Ashley and today we're going to be looking at how to create a custom report within Club V1. Okay, so we're logged into my Club V1 account. And as you can see along the top, we've got a header named reports. So within this section, we've got various reports based around membership, handicaps, booking, and EPOS. So today's video is all about how to create a custom report that we can save and come back and use in the future. So in order to create a custom report, we need to select the lists option at the top. And as you can see, I've got three reports that I've made in the past that have been saved. So if we wanted to rerun a report with up-to-date information, I'd simply select one of them and on the right, we've got an option then to download and export as PDF, CSV, or TSV. Okay, so in order to run a custom report, we need to select the plus button on the left, which is add list report. And you can see now this brings up the list wizard. So the first thing we need to do is populate the details section. So give the report a name. So for today's report, I want to create a list that gives me all the direct debit payers for this year. So in short report name, we're going to call it direct debit payers. And report title texts, we'll call it direct debit payers 2021. You've then got various options below. So whether you want it landscape portrait, how many columns on the page. Um, so this is all based around how you want the report to be viewed and displayed. So we'll leave that as the default. The next section, you've got the fields that you want to be included in the report. So we've got title and forename, surname already selected. We then want direct debit. And I'm going to run category as well. So membership category. So those are the three fields that I want to be displayed on this report. So the name of the member, if they're paying by direct debit, and which membership category they are in. Okay, so once happy with the fields, we can then click continue. And this will take us through to the sorting options. So on the left hand side, we've got all of the available sorting options. On the right is the selected. So as you can see, I've got four name, surname, ascending selected at the moment. Um, for any of these options, if you wanted to change that to uh, descending, you simply left click on it and that will change it. Um, if you click on it again for a third time, it will remove it and pop it back into the available section. So if we just pop that back in and click continue. This section now is how we want the report to be filtered. So as you can see, it's now selected all of my membership database by default. If I wanted to apply a saved filter, on the left hand side is the drop down of all my saved. So I can select men only and run the report. Um, or if we just clear that and apply, that will go back to the full database. Again, underneath you've got an option to add a field there and then. So if you wanted to pick out certain membership categories, you can select category and add, and then click seven categories selected. And again, if we just select the gents five day full playing and apply, you can now see it's gone to 70 players. So for today's report, we're gonna clear those filters and select all, and then hit continue. So in the final section of the list creation, you can see we've got a preview and confirm. Um, this is just asking you to double check each section is set up correctly. And then once checked, you can then click finish. So this new report that I've just created called direct debit payers, you can see has been set up. Um, it's now on the left hand side within the other reports that were created in the past. Um, each section is set up uh, with a little edit pencil. So in the future, if you wanted to go back in and amend any of the fields you can do. So for example, if we go back in and wanted to take off membership category, we can click that and then continue and save. 
So in order to run the report, we've got an option on the right hand side called download list. We can now download this as PDF, CSV or TSV. So for today's report, I'm going to download as CSV. So by clicking that option there, you can see it's now downloaded a CSV file on the bottom left of my screen, which will then allow me to open it with Microsoft Excel. If we just expand these cells, you can now see the three fields that we asked for. So forename, surname, direct debit, and membership category are now in the report. Um, so we've got forename and surname in alphabetical order, whether the direct debit is enabled or disabled on their account, and the membership category. So the custom report that we asked for has now been downloaded into Microsoft Excel. Um, and again, if I wanted to move any of this around, I can do. And in the future, if we go back to the report and run it again, every time we do run it and export it as a CSV, PDF or TSV, that will give us the most up-to-date data. So if over the next month, I add another 10 members that are paying by direct debit, as soon as I download the latest CSV file, for example, that will include those up-to-date members. If there are any reports that you need to delete, you simply click it on the left-hand side and you've got the bin icon in the middle, which will then allow you to delete and that will remove it permanently from your system. Alternatively, if there is a report that you use quite frequently, you can actually pin this report to your dashboard of Plug V1. Um, by using the pin icon. Um, so I've already pinned that to the home. So if we just go into the home page, and you can see I've got a pinned list here to access quickly. Um, so if we just go back into reports and lists, so I can also pin that to the reports hub as well. So if we go back to hub, uh, and you can see it's here. So if there are any reports that you use quite regularly, um, it's probably best just to pin them to your dashboard and you can just run them from there um, simply and easy. So I hope you found that tutorial video useful and you can now create a custom report. If you do need any further assistance, please do not hesitate to contact our support team via live chat or via phone.